this i would like to invite so we got different perspective from the state of ap let's have a perspective from uh, some other state and uh, again one of the best practices of skill development that is skill university we have with us a special guest from the state of maharashtra dr apurva palkar founding vice chancellor maharashtra state skills university a huge round of applause for her please minister for skills industries shri bugana rajendra nath ji shri ajay reddy श्री सुरेश कुमार श्री पोला भास्कर डॉक्टर विनोद कुमार डॉक्टर रविशंकर मिस्टर कैपडोंग ली नव्या एंड श्री माधवन इंडीड इट इज़ अ ग्रेट ओनर प्रिवलेज फॉर मी टू बी प्रेजेंटिंग द स्टेट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र टू यू आई वाज फीलिंग अ लिटल आउट ऑफ प्लेस हियर विथ the power circle of andhra pradesh where i was sharing dais with the honorable minister and everyone who is an ias sitting there on the table except the industry representative who was with me i represent the state of uh, maharashtra and we are looking at bringing in the skill ecosystem with five enablers so we looking at industry investment that's coming into the state of maharashtra we looking at human capital that uh, the university represents the innovation the focus on the se sectors and the governance and i feel that these are the five important pillars that the state is really looking at for the vision of uh, vikasid bharat of 2047 that honorable prime minister has been speaking of i'm also fortunate to be representing a state where uh, we have uh, the only state which uh, is able to talk and profess about the fact that we have the highest per capita income in the country we in the last quarter results that we saw the highest amount of foreign direct investments came from the state of maharashtra and mumbai being the financial capital uh, uh, no thinking uh, twice about it uh, we are also having 82% of literacy uh, rate we have 68% of employable population with us and uh, of course a lot of tourists uh, who come into the state of maharashtra which is second highest in the country um Uh, just now there was a mention about uh, uh, the skilling ecosystem and i'm very proud to say that the state of maharashtra today approximately is looking at 10 to 15% of work workforce which is formally available in the state of maharashtra when we look at the uh, global landscape and when you look up at india which is at 5% i think uh, we are in a very strong position as far as uh, maharashtra is concerned i represent the Dep department of skill employability entrepreneurship and innovation of government of maharashtra and uh, we have the following wings the way uh, uh, it was spoken about andhra pradesh in a similar manner uh, we have the skilling wing we have the employability wing we have the entrepreneurship wing and the formal education which i represent which is maharashtra state skills university which is recently been established about 18 months back uh, i'm also happy to share that uh, we've been contributing 12.92% uh, of the gdp nationally and we've the highest number of startups nationally as per the outlook we stand at number 1 in terms of the national innovation index maharashtra today stands at number 4 and uh, uh, i've already mentioned about the foreign direct investments that have come the awards and the recognition that the state of maharashtra has received uh, is been the top performer as far as the startup india is concerned and there are multiple awards and laurels that the uh, uh, the state has receiving from the maharashtra state innovation society the innovation society today is also having uh, close to uh, now the numbers have gone to 21 incubators that we have out of this 21 incubators about 12 of them are located in the public universities themselves so that's been a very uh, strong proposition for the state we were trying to see how we can support uh, the innovative and thinking skills within the uh, academia which is most required and these are the kinds of international interfaces that our state innovation society 
has been doing with uh, the likes of the Nexus and the New Zealand and I'm sure all of us are doing that. Similarly, the state of Maharashtra is also doing. Uh, when I speak about the schemes, uh, all the states are today receiving the schemes. But uh, in this, there are two things that I would like to highlight here, which is uh, what was done a couple of days back, which is 511 <laughs> skill centers in rural, rural parts of Maharashtra, which has been a very unique initi initiative of the government of uh, Maharashtra. I'm also very fortunate to share with you the statistics on the employment. And this is really unique uh, for the state of Maharashtra, where uh, we've been able to place 2.7 lakh people in last one year. And we are really looking at 6.86 lakh commitments that we have from the industry. Just last month, in the month of December, there was a huge event which was organized in the city of Nagpur, which is number three city. And this is where in two days we were able to get close to around 10,000 employment and 24th or tw and 25th in the city of, uh, in the district of Thane, we are doing this and we are envisaging to have 25,000 jobs done in these two days. Um, uh, having said this, uh, the base of the pyramid for the state of Maharashtra is what we call it as the ITIs. So ITIs have been the strength and the pillar for our academia for a very long time. And we have close to now uh, nearing a thousand ITIs of which about 400 plus are from the government side and rest of them are the private ITIs that we have. And we're churning out close to one 1.24 lakh uh, candidates every year on multiple trades that are getting engaged with the industry and we're doing a lot of work very closely with the salt system, TCS, LNT, uh, to name a few of them. These, these are the collaborations that even our ITS have done and we'll be fortunate that industry has come forward and made a lot of investments in the ITS, which has been a big uh, uh, driver for the, uh, for the ITS as well. We also have what we call it as the Maharashtra State Board for Skills Vocational Education and training. This is kind of a certifying body which does work uh, for the level of only diploma holders and we are catering to a large number of population for the skill ecosystem in the state of Maharashtra through this initiative of ours. Now let me come to who I am. That is Maharashtra State Skills University. We are a very small young budding university 18 months old. Uh, the youngest in in the state of Maharashtra where we have the universities like University of Mumbai which is more than 160 years old. So there's a huge challenge for a new university especially when you are in the skill space because skill equal to turner, fitter, electrician. So that's the mindset that people come from but that's not what skilling is all about. The world is looking at India to provide the right and the requisite human capital that will also look at areas, aspirational areas, for example, cybersecurity is one big area. And I'm very happy to share uh, with you, sir, that we just entered into agreement with NIA, National Investigation Agency, and we are setting up a center for cybersecurity, center of excellence. We will be working directly with NIA as a university to help and support uh, the ecosystem because we understand that 70% of the cyber security professionals of the world are provided by India. And here is a huge opportunity, as you rightly pointed out, the next war is not the war by the land, but it is the cyber law uh, war that we have to re be really prepared for. So, uh, in terms of the landscape of my university, we are looking at the whole state of Maharashtra. I have already started my university in Navi Mumbai, uh, that's in Khargar. We are coming out with a huge campus in Panvel. We are uh, starting, uh, we've also started in the city of uh, Pune and Nagpur. Aurangabad, Nasik are in the pipeline. So, we're looking at the whole landscape. It's a huge landscape of 36 districts 
of the complete Maharashtra. It is not one uh, space, state, one place of Mumbai that we represent, but we represent a lot of other spaces. And I'm very happy to share here uh, for all the academician friends here that we are 100% aligned to the national education policy. That also brings me to one important area that today national education policy is talking of age to 12 credit transfers on the skill space and this is where skills universities can play a significant role in terms of joining hands with the traditional uh, academia and provide them the skill sets. So this is what we are trying to do uh, and uh, our strategy has been to look out for people who can do it. We are also looking at people who couldn't do it and uh, cannot do it. So we're also uh, in the space of RPL trying to help people who have lost the race because of certain reasons and we're trying to bring them to at par and we've come out with a policy of equivalence to 12th grade where the kids can go to any traditional university in Maharashtra or in India and take up admission. So that's something that we're trying to help and support. Uh, so we're also trying to work very, very strongly in the startup ecosystem. I'm very happy to share with everyone that we are hand holding 13 pre-incubation centers in the city of Mumbai, which are set up in various colleges. So what we are trying to say is that we are building thinking skills uh, through um, our initiative. We are very open on credit transfers to any university nationally. We are happy to provide certain credit transfers even for the state of Andhra Pradesh. If you are looking at, we can really do that for you without you getting into uh, uh, the process of reaching out to an industry and doing the whole thing. And there is academic bank of credits where we can actually share in the ABC and these credits can be taken at a very reasonable price. Uh, <clears throat> just last week in the presence of our Honorable Chief Minister, we had an agreement which was done with Rubeka. This is a French counterpart owned by French government where we are trying to give in courses and programs which is a joint degree program in interaction design, product design, UI, UX, animation, gaming which we are starting in Mumbai, in Pune and in Nagpur. I am happy to share with you that my university is being mentored by MIT, JVL. So so they have taken the responsibility of handholding the university. This is completely funded by World Bank. We are uh, also partnering, uh, we have partnered with GIZ and there are other international partners with whom we've been working. I'm also happy to share with you that our model is 60% on the job, 40% classroom, and this is where a lot of international consulting organizations have joined hands with us on the areas of data analytics and uh, uh, AI, which was being mentioned. We're already doing a lot of work. Trend, Tata Trend has come forward and given us an opportunity to upskill more than 1,000 people. So upskilling is one specific area on which we are working. Reskilling is another area where we're working and skilling of course remains the uh, core of the university system. Also a uh, hundred colleges where we have set up our skill centers. We are 100% aligned to multiple entry, multiple exit formats where people could go to the industry, work for a few years, come back to the university. And this is what was being called as lifelong learning which is what a skills university is supposed to be providing is what we are giving through our framework in the academia. And uh, uh, having said this, I'll come to the last slide because I've given five minutes to speak on. MSSU, Maharashtra State Skills University, is completely committed to contributing to making Maharashtra a one trillion economy. And we have defined our focus areas and we are working on the focus areas. And I'll be very happy to join hands with anyone sitting in this room. We are very open. Our slate is open, clean. 
and we don't have a baggage like a 160 year old university or a 100 year old university we are open clean slate where we look at world as our landscape and here is where i'm happy that we have representatives from nsdc as well they've identified uh, maharashtra state skills university to be the anchor for all international placements to happen in mumbai pune and nagpur through us with 14 international engagements that we that they have with different countries so i'm very happy that we are all together in this mission of making india the skill capital of the world thank you i got the tag line for this speech making india the skill capital of the world and for that collaboration is needed as you have rightly said and pointed out what wonderful work being done uh, by a 18 month old uh, uh, university it's not about having legacy ma'am it's all about doing something new fruitful and uh, which is uh, good for the larger cause of the society uh, your presentation also talked about a very interesting part where you said that and also you talked about the french collaboration Uh, uh that is also helpful thank you so much ma'am so without taking much time i know we are running short of time so without taking much time